Hello little ladies and gentlemen, I'll be casting for you today a match between Megabyte in blue and Icy here on the red team. I would like to thank Icy for sending me this replay. Thanks to him we'll be able to have a little fun today watching this match. We can see Megabyte here, he is already walling off his base. He's making a tower in case he gets attacked. It will be very very hard to break this ramp here. He's making an, an advanced workshop probably so he could transfer workers from this base which is closed now to some other base to keep his economy growing in the mid game. He's building a tower, uh, I'm sorry, he's building a fortress which is probably going to lead to dragons because there's no other reason he would do that because it takes a long time to build and it really hurts your economy in the early game because you, you're not producing workers and not getting more gold. Icy is here making a, a proxy then but I doubt it will be successful because this base is already already walled off <coughs> and I really doubt that a, a few wolves will be able to break through this barrier here. Yeah, we have a dragon coming and Icy is really not prepared for this. Uh, he had no way of knowing but now he knows and we'll have to see what he does. He immediately stops making wolves because he knows they'll, they'll be useless. So now he's in a decent spot. He, he knows his enemy is going to be expanding through airships and he can pretty well imagine dragons are coming behind this because when you close off like that, it's really hard to get an attack out if you don't have flying units. So dragons are most likely to come. Icy is playing it cool. He's saying, well, my enemy is gonna need some time to produce all these dragons, especially when he's only in one base. So I'll just sit back. <coughs> I'll expand, I'll get my economy going because I'm pretty sure my opponent my opponent's economy is not that good so I'll take advantage of that and it seems he'll be fine if he builds some towers because as you can see we have a dragon coming already pretty early, not even 5 minutes into the game this is pretty much the fastest dragon you could you could get from a game. He did build the fortress as his first action, so yeah, it's it's pretty early. There are no here now a, a tower is coming, but he will need another one outside here. I would be making some archers too because if he if he builds the airships and he has no way to defend them this dragon that's coming out will will make will make its life hell you know it's pretty easy to destroy an airship if you have one or two dragons okay the, the second tower is coming soon this den is pretty vulnerable as is this, this other one. The advantage for Icy though, well, let's see how, how much damage this causes. He's going for the worker building the tower, so the tower is not finished. But Icy is pretty much on top of this, he will finish the tower. He's able to get some more gold while the attack is going, so he's pretty cool keeping his mind on the job, as it were. And we already have another dragon coming. 
and megabytes will not be producing a few any more dragons in a while. He's going to use these two dragons to cause the damage he needs. And he's still not expanding. Oh, I see that's what the workshop was for. To get some ballistas out. Yeah, that was a, a pretty good move. I thought he was going to make airships to attack the enemy base. Yeah, that's a, a pretty good counter to, to dragons. You can see just one ballista was enough to drive his opponents away. And now, he's going for an offensive airship and ballista against two dragons. I gotta say, that is pretty courageous of Icy. Because, you know, if these dragons just spit some fireballs at the ship right here, then he loses both units. These are the only units uh, that matter to him as an army, because these wolves are pretty much useless by now. I'm, I'm impressed that Megabyte is not expanding in any way. He has three dragons, he could be using them to defend a bit at home and get an expansion going. You know, this one here, his natural, would be perfect because it's so close to his base. I wonder what Megabyte is going to do with this barracks right here. Probably he's going to stop making dragons, which are very expensive, and start making some more cheap units. There's an interesting micro, ba micro battle here. And even though he has three dragons, Ice is getting the upper hand. He's able to defend his, his wolves then. I'm not sure why he's putting so much effort into it. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we'll see that his wolves are going to cause a lot of damage here. This strategy for Ice is pretty much awesome, because we see a lot of people doing this, closing off their bases. It's easy to win against noobies if you do this, because most, most new players won't be able to, to break this sort of wall, and then you just win the game. But Icy has got it covered. If he doesn't lose these units, you know, this airship is pretty much ready to go down at any point. So yeah, this this is a pretty unique game. I can't say that I, I've watched a ton of games like this, that at 10 minutes in, the one of the players is at only one base with one dragon's den and two barracks. But it's a lot of fun. If Icy goes back and repairs these airships, he will likely be able to kill off these dragons, and with Megabyte's economy now, he won't be able to produce many more. As you can see, he is transitioning into barracks units, which are a lot cheaper. I see is still betting on his wolves, but you know, wolves un without upgrades against soldiers are not the strongest composition you want to get. A soldier is pretty much able to, to destroy a wolf, as we're going to see here. But if Isis multitasking is good, he will be able to kill off those dragons, which will be huge for him, 
he's going to be able to defend his bases, at least for now, before he loses a lot of wolves. Especially if he can get a, a tower around this area, it will make his life much easier. And he is on three bases by the 10 minute mark, which puts, his, which puts him in a pretty decent situation. Considering his opponent has is only one base, he's mining from only one base. This is a, an interesting game. I'll be pretty hyped up if we get to the 20 minute mark with it. Yeah, that tower would have been pretty good, but instead he loses both his dance, he's making another one, and we'll have to see if his economy will be enough to get him back on this game. This attack will be prevented, stopped, so he's gonna normalize his situation, he's gonna attack again, or maybe not, with the airships. He's got two dents already, so he's back to the spot where he's in, where he was in. I would advise him to make, you know, one or two towers more, because wolves alone will be crushed against the the soldiers, if they keep coming, and they are coming, there are four of them now. Megabyte is trying to secure uh, an expansion here, but it's a little bit awkward. I mean, it's good to defend with dragons, because it's close by, but the wolves can harass it pretty well. I see it saying it's over. I've got to say, if you're reaching the post 10 minute mark and you only have one base, it's a... Uh, maybe it's over already, but we'll see. He's able to defend his tower, almost dead, but that's something. He's got three very alive dragons that can do a lot of work against these airships. Megabyte has four soldiers right now. I mean, he has eight soldiers, I just don't know where. Oh, here. They're attacking the base. So, I'm sorry, I see. I'm not sure this is quite over yet. Losing two of his dragons was a, a big blow. And I see pretty much stopped this expansion from happening here anytime soon. So, yeah, if if megabytes could megabyte, I'm sorry, uh, had kept his dragons alive, he would be in a. I think he would still be in game. But with only one dragon, you can see there are more than ten wolves here, and a new expansion coming up. I'm not sure why Icy would want a tower right there in the path to to the mineral to the to the mine. But yeah, it, it's it's looking pretty bad. You know this Middle War game it's a game of both fights and tactics and economy and strategy. And if you have a, a single base mining against four, I'm sorry, you can have the best tactics ever, but you won't be able to, to compete with the economy, you know? Icy will be able to just keep making wolves, don't even mind the dragons, he's, he's getting ready to build right now. With his economy, he can just keep building wolves and throwing wolves into the, the enemy base, and he'll be just fine, especially with double upgrades coming here for him. 
you know, even if this attack does a lot of damage, this is just one of three bases he's mining from. It's not going to be a big deal. Even only two bases mining is twice what Megabyte has right now. And as I said, he, Icy can lose as many wolves as possible and he will still have plenty of them to attack his opponent. You know, this is actually a, a quite good game, especially I love learning Icy's strategy for this, using airships and ballistas against dragons, especially against walled off dragons, is just a very smart idea. You can see he, he's been in this situation before. What I don't really like is that IC is maxed out and he's not destroying his player, his enemy. You know, okay, that's it. He didn't actually need to, to attack his player. But that's it. Uh, uh, I, for one, learned a very good strategy today. Maybe this will help you too, because a lot of people have been doing this walling off thing and going for dragons. And sometimes, if you don't notice it early enough, especially on big maps where you can take a while to get to your enemy base and see what, what he's doing, you can lose the game, but with this strategy, the airships give you plenty of mobility. As you saw, just one ballista is enough to crush one or two dragons. So this is a, a pretty good and, and fast counter to this sort of stuff early game. And as you saw, this type of strategy, uh, as you saw from Megabyte, if you don't make it happen in the early game or the mid game, you're in a pretty bad spot. As you saw here, uh, Icy didn't even need to attack his enemy to win the game. He just stayed his base, defended, and with his economy he was gonna win, so the only choice Megabyte had was to, was to leave the game. So yeah, pretty fun. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to keep in touch with new videos that I upload. And I'll leave my email in the description. So if you please want to help, send some replays for me in the email so I can cast them. Again, thanks Icy for sending me this one. It was pretty good. And hopefully I'll be doing some more of those for you guys. Bye bye, have fun.